Hello there, folks. The aim of this series is to win trophies, and today, a big day. Attempt number one at getting close to ticking one of 14 off our list. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Let's run the intro and let's get into this. Let's get into this. I love that. It won't work with any other team. It, won't, it just won't work. Hello then, gang. You join us on Italian Cup final day. It's on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. It's on a Wednesday, and it's actually tomorrow. Before we get there, we've got a team meeting. Uh, Gianluigi Pisano thinks it would be a good idea if I held a team meeting with the players to encourage them ahead of the upcoming Cup final. Okay, then. These have always gone well for me in the past, so sure, let's do that. Uh, we'll, go, we'll say it passionately. Italian, flower, <laughs> You know, we're expected to win this final. I want to see that sort of attitude from every single one of you. That's bold though, isn't it? I'm proud of you for reaching the final. And while we obviously want to win, there are no grand expectations for us doing so. Enjoy the occasion. That I think that's less pressure. We'll say that. They, oh, they love that. This is I've never had a one go as well as this. That's fantastic. Although overall, it's red. Why is it red overall? Why have some of them got worse? That was never indicated to me. Oh my God. Never mind. Just a little bit of admin before we uh, carry on. Uh, we've, we've won 2 0 against Oswalo, and you can see here we are fourth in the table. And the Champions League is confirmed. We kind of knew it would be already. That's, that's not really news for us. Uh, and Napoli, you can see that in sixth position, then 13 points behind us, and they are our position for this upcoming game. It's going to be a test a test for us to win it. Are they, are they without anyone? Oh, Gulan can't play. Loads of players on bookings. Dries Mertens looks like he's unavailable, and I think that's probably it. Caloran, he looks like he won't play either. The fact Mertens is probably out is massive. They've still got some talented players, but he's one of their best ones. So let's continue close as a cup final day and uh, see how we do. Jose Mourinho has a surprise. <laughs> of course he has. Jose Mourinho had some surprisingly harsh words for you about your recent achievement ahead of the encounter between the two of you on Wednesday. What did you make of his comments? What were his comments? Here they are. Mourinho doesn't believe car success is deserved. What a prick. I can't, what else do I much have to say? Your encounter with Inter on Wednesday sees you come up against the jubilant Ben Carr. Hi everyone. Given his recent continental qualification success, thank you very much. How do you feel about your car counterpart's recent achievement? And the mind games from Jose. Look how grumpy he looks as well. Dearie me. Just smile, mate. This will probably sound like sour grapes. Oh, we'll, we'll see, won't we? I don't think Carr deserves this success. There are plenty of better managers out there than him that are more deserving of any kind of... Well, they've not done it, have they, Jose, mate? They've not done it. They've not achieved fourth position. And I, I noticed so if I just take a look at the league table as Napoli manager oh neither of you shut your shut your gums hush your gums mate you honestly natter 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 shut up you've, you've terrible probably shouldn't say all this I, I mean that, that I've not written that as the response all right then Game day. Stadio Olimpico. Italian Cup final. So far, we've played them once this season. Uh, we actually played them in the league at the back end of this. So whoever loses this has got a bit of redemption. I don't want to win the league game. Don't care about the league game. Makes no ma no, makes literally no difference to anything I do. Whereas, well, the cup, we need this. I really want to tick it off the list, viewers. The team then, going into this particular game. Handanovic will start in goal for us. Number one, Handanovic. Yeah, we won't do it for all of them. Uh, Sklini at the fridge and Godin will be at the back. Of course, they'll be Lozano one side, Asimo at the other. Uh, SMS will be alongside Borella and Foden will complement Martinez and Lukaku at the back. We can, because it's the Italian Cup, you keep all your substitutes for this one. Uh, so Danny Graham may feature at some point. Who knows? I know he probably will, yes. Alexis Sanchez, on the other hand, Probably won't see him. So here we go. Team selection is confirmed. Oh, come on. This is it. Oh, this is so huge. Lorente starts up front for them. De Lorenzo, who I've got in my other save, my other series at the moment. Manolas, Koulibaly, a spinner in goal. Allen, Insigne. Some really quality players in that side. You've got to say, like, their 11 is pretty strong. Uh, Tanelli's on the bench. Lozano's on the bench. They've got Mertens on the bench as well. Despite his injury, he's on there. It comes down to this. Attempt number one. Come on. These fans have been fantastic. You fans have been fantastic. The, the support on this series, to be fair, has been fantastic. I'm winning this for you as much as I am the Inter Milan fans. Come on. Otherwise, we've got to do this all over again, viewers. And we'll have to, we'll be in Italy again. What a kit clash, by the way. Blue on, I know it's black and blue, but still, it's quite similar. As the games begin, and after just 90 seconds, it's given away, and Foden is in. The perfect start, viewers. Can it happen? Phil Foden! Oh, my word, it can! He's driven through 
It's fourth of the season. Napoli have started terribly, says the text commentary. I could not agree more. It's fourth of the season. They've cocked it right up. And look at this from Foden. Wins it on halfway. The young Englishman on loan from Manchester City drives towards the penalty area and rockets one into the back of the net. It's Inter Milan 1, Napoli 0, and we lead the cup final. Oh... Oh, here we go now. Come on. Season one. Please, please. If you watched the Champions League game yesterday, which I hope you did, you'll know how I feel about this. I'm, I'm, I'm desperate to do well in the first season. This would be so, such a, like, I couldn't have asked for a better start, really. Martinez is in. Surely not. A spinner makes the save. Oh, I feel like, I feel like there's drama ahead, though. I don't know. I've got a weird feeling. I feel like, for whatever reason, this, this isn't anywhere close to over, as that from Phil Foden, that pass there, is outrageous. A bit risky, I dare say, but a risky pass worth making he's done another one Martinez is in on goal it's two before 20 minutes and Inter Milan and me <laughs> we're glory hunting here we've gone to Inter and glory looks like it might be coming our way look at this what a ball again is it Foden that plays it I think it is isn't it look at that right foot this time oh the missed header from Manolas at the back Lotaro Martinez a spinner can do nothing and we lead 2-0 and I still feel uneasy I don't know why I'm not going to change anything I mean we're absolutely rampant so far Martinez again in on Koulibaly but this time Napoli holds strong. I think, weirdly, Napoli have looked, I don't want to say the better side early on, but we've scored two goals. It's a weird situation. Insignia goes for goal. Dreadful. Dreadful. But we like this. We get a lead and then we cling on. We, we go Italian. We go more Italian than anyone else. If only we were better in the first half of the league campaign. Well, this, we may have done better all season. Phil Foden has come in. What a man. And I, I love this. I, I said it like pre-series as well. Phil Foden, 19 years of age. He'll be in almost all of this series. Like his player, you know, he, he as a player, will be everywhere. Whether he's with me at, at sort of intervals during that, I hope so. But what an impact. He's there helping me win this first trophy half an hour oh, sorry half an hour half the game to go I'm very happy with the performance so far keep it up all oh, my two central midfielders both on bookings as is Asamoah I hope that doesn't result in anything further Insignia's got a free kick he's gone for it and Handanovic probably didn't need to but tips it behind Insignia again with the corner and Napoli are looking relatively dangerous here but again they're, they're continuing it I mean average rating wise we're playing slightly better you can see it across the board as they're, they're working on the edge of the penalty area let's not do anything silly here Zelinski and, and Di Lorenzo working together Heisen now on that side but no nothing okay still 2-0 Come on, just hold on. We're not playing. Outside of the two that have contributed, no one's playing that well, which makes me a little bit nervous. But we've got another chance, perhaps, and a third here. And goodness me, but no, it's, it's Napoli that bring it away. I've said I felt like there was going to be drama. And I've got, I mean, Lorente here has got quite the job. He's up against three top-class defenders. He's, he's very isolated, and it's, it's a massive benefit to us. Merton's not been there as huge viewers. Zasamoa picks it up on this left-hand side. I am exhausted. We're only 60 minutes into this game. Out to Phil Foden. Back to Asamoah. As we continue to build, continue to try and find some gaps. Barella's on the ball now. Beautiful ball out wide. Lazaro. We've seen this so many times now, I feel like. Into the middle. Lotaro! Oh, Lotaro Martinez makes it three. And it looks like... See... Get a big green tick, Ben, and put it in the box because this looks like it might have been done. The idea with the, with the graph or the, the table I've got, the grid, is that it would show my best finish. We'll still we'll still still do that in some way, but goodness gracious, three nil on the hour mark. I couldn't have had this. Couldn't have been any better. This is for oh dearie me, <sighs> holy smokes. I can't cry. Lukaku's having a quiet game. 20 minutes to go, viewers. He's coming on. He's been, a, he's been a figurehead of the series. Danny Graham replaces Romelu Lukaku. Isn't there a goal for him in the game? SMS has picked up a bit of a knock as well. Remember, big Champions League game coming up. We don't want to uh, waste anything there. Gagladini's going to come on for him in the centre of the pitch. And it looks, though, for everything it's worth, that we're going to wrap up a trophy early on. I don't, every time I say... Okay, there's a highlight to them. I mean, Lorente, again, so isolated. Godin there. He... he he tried to deal with it. They've still got the ball. But what a mountain for Napoli to climb. I did say I felt like there was going to be drama. I now hope there is absolutely no drama whatsoever. And I say, I've, you've heard me say it many times for us. I'd love a comfortable 3-0 win. That's what we're having right now. And uh, Napoli still, I say, huge mountain to climb. And they're keeping the ball, which is all well and good. But they need goals. They're not going to get one right here. Or are they? Lorente in for a first. And they get one. Napoli score. This is filth. But it's been... We've got to do it, viewers. We're going Italian. We're shutting the door. We're not letting anybody in. 
These three are going to come back and play as ball winners. We're going very defensive. I'm try I'm glory hunting. This is not a case of trying to play nice, expansive football. We are shutting the inter door right now. Give it away a little bit cheaply. Manolas just launches one forward and Lorente finds a little bit of space. It's a good finish from the big Spaniard. But uh, yeah, 3-1. Surely not. And look at the time tick away, viewers. And the smile on my face is appearing. Oh, good God. Okay, 90 seconds of normal time. We're very defensive, so we're not necessarily looking to score. We're just trying to contain almost, aren't we? As that ball... Oh, they missed it again. Manolas with a mistake. Lataro to seal it, and he does. A hat-trick for Lataro Martinez in the final. It is indeed. That's what you want to see. Inter Milan 4, Napoli 1, and the game is done. Brozovic with the assist this time from a deeper area. Manolas has made two critical errors, and Lataro Martinez goes through and scores. Oh, Alex Merritt's not had the best game either. You've got to say in goal, he's missed a few saves he maybe should have made. I assume this is on side. I'm sure this is definitely going to tell us. Oh, conclusive viewers. Very conclusive. The red line, of course, is the one that matters. He's on side. He's absolutely fine. And the game, as, as we're ticking away here, three minutes to go. We are Italian Cup winners. Glory Hunter Season 1 starts with a trophy. Oh, I'm so pleased. Dressing room action. There we go. Look, passionately say, very happy the way you've played. Enjoy the success. And little do these Inter Milan players know they have started something today. They have started our, our bid for 14 trophies. Serie A is still a distant memory. The Champions League final is yet to come. And that's where I think we'll be next time. The league is pretty much taking care of itself. We, we can't really move now out of fourth position. That's where we're going to finish. We can't win the league. We can't finish fifth. So I think there's, there's no real point in focusing too much on that. We will review it at the end of the season. Season, of course but uh there we are then season one inter win the italian cup beautiful some good money for that as well uh look at savage is out for five to seven days that was a little bit of a concern actually he needs to be ready fit and firing for the champions league and the board are delighted as well a little bit of a payout across it the board are happy i'm happy zang stevens loving it Oh, it's such a relief. I do want to have to come back in like years time and try and win the Italian Cup. Knockout competitions are ruthless. That's why I'm so chuffed to win this now, as well as the Champions League. Like, they are tough trophies to win. League campaigns, you can kind of ebb and flow with that. You can have defeats, you can have setbacks. You can't have that in Cups, you're out. You just can't have that. Ah! And the good news is, viewers, the jokes can come back now because the pressure is, is almost off. But let's face it, Barcelona in three days' time, or three games' time, I should say. That is where it's at. And that's where we'll join you up uh, to next time. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this episode. We kick things off well. Let's, let's go to the graphic. And you can see now, the viewers, there it is. Look, Inter Milan, winners, winners of the trophy. I can't believe it. We've already done it. We might, well, we may well do it again. You never know. It, it could happen at some point. Um, say we have to come back in the future and take over someone like Juve or Milan and uh, that, I mean, the drama that if we ended up taking over AC um, and winning the league of course there, there might be a chance for us to win this again which would be fantastic but uh, yeah if you enjoyed this episode do drop a like on it it is monumental it will go down in history as the first trophy won and I will see you again soon for more we love with care if you want to mention until next time goodbye I've just realised I managed Palmer and Spal and I never won this I don't think I feel like it was it was not something I was into very often but this time we were most certainly into it yes come on one down 13 to go Easy.